talking about the win, um, obviously. Um, not a good half defensively in the first half. Uh, they drove the basketball very deep, which they do. They're a very good driving team. They've got multiple drivers. Um, we had problems keeping them in front and had to help. They kicked the basketball and shot the ball with extremely high percentage. They made nine threes in the first half. We did a better job in the second half keeping players in front, A, and B, closing out more aggressively when they kicked the basketball, which then I think they scored four, four threes in the last in the second half, um, which which uh, got us over the hump there defensively. And um, yeah, uh, so, you know, that's uh, to me the story of the game. Uh, Leidime varžuoms per daug verštis po krepšiu, tuo jie garsėja, bet mes tai jiems leidėjome ir atmesdami kamalius jie pataikė devynis tritoškius. Antroje pusėje gynyba jau buvo geresnė, tiek įsilaikėme vienas prieš vieną, tiek neleidome numesti kamalių metikams, todėl gynyba buvo geresnė. Kaučius? It looked that you played uh, with big energy and good communication from the, from the beginning of the match. It was emphasized before, before the game? I agree uh, that we started uh, very engaged defensively. Um, and uh, it was it was not necessarily emphasized. It's, you know, obviously an emphasis, em emphasis, emphasis for us uh, in every game and in every practice. Uh, but I will agree. I, I thought the guys started out uh, well there on that end. Klausimas buvo, ar prieš jungtinės buvo akcentuota agresyviai gynyba, tai pradėjome būtent taip, bet tą akcentuojame ir prieš kiekvienas jungtinės. Paulius Jankūnas scored four free pointers. Did you surprise? No, not at all. We practice every game. Before the games, uh, we've had uh, 56 games now. Um, so, you know, 56 times uh, he's had vitamins and 10 minutes of shooting from exactly those spots. Um, so it's only a question of time, you know, when he makes them. Um, he has to be convinced to shoot the basketball, you know. I'm happy when he shoots it, when he's so open. You know, people sink off so much, we'll just knock it down again. He's a 35% shooter over his career. And um, I'm, I'm not surprised when the basketball goes in there. Um, four, of course, is, is great. Klausimas buvo apie Paulus Jankūno keturis pataikytus Vytaškius. Tai trenerio jie nenustebino, tai jau yra 56 rungtynės ir prieš kiekvienus rungtynės Paulius būtent iš tų vietų apšilinėja ir pataiko. Jis yra karjeros jie 35 procentų metikas, todėl a, tie metimai nenustebino ir žinoma gerai, kad pataikė keturis metimus. Coach, how did you like Patricia Garino performance after such a long time? Quite a lot, um, because of the fact that he was 15 minutes on the court and played without um, pain, you know, without any hesitance, I thought. Um, and that's the main thing right now, you know, again, for him, it is, he's, he's not played basketball in one and a half years. So this complete, uh, in a way, uh, still part of the rehab, you know, and uh, very happy on this first step. Klausimas buvo apie Patricio Garino pasirodymą, tai treneris vertina gerai, visų pirma, kad galėjo žaisti 15 minučių bez kausmo, žaidė nedvejodamas, po pusantrų metų nežaidimo, tai tikrai yra labai svarbu ir šios rungtynės visgi dar yra tik tai rehabilitacijos dalis. And how is Geoffrey Lawrence back? Uh, totally fine, totally fine, he's all good there again, so we're happy there. Uh, ir Geoffrey Laverno nugara viskas tvarkoje, viskas grįžia į savo vėžius. Will Patricio Garino play on Saturday against Maccabi or in next time or league games? Um, excuse me, so you say if you will play against Maccabi on, on uh, Thursday? Uh, I don't know yet. Treneris dar nežino, ar Patricio Garino žais keliptanį prieš Maccabi? Coach, on the weekend, Zagreb's youth team participated in EuroLeague's uh, youth tournament uh, where they lost only to Real Madrid. Did you see their performance and how could you rate? I did not see the performance. I just, uh, you know, 
had communication and, and uh, you know, obviously saw the results, but, you know, to be very honest, didn't have time to uh, to watch. Um, but uh, great, you know, I think, uh, again, our program, our youth program is, um, is, is ranked very high in Europe. Uh, like, you know, Jalgiris and Lithuania itself. I, I've spoken a lot about the basketball culture, which amazes me completely. And uh, therefore, in a way, that's uh, what we expect. Not so much winning in the in the EuroLeague uh, tournament, you know, that's, that's of no interest, to be honest. Uh, what is of interest is the development of players. And... Um, and uh, our club does a very good job. The country does a <laughs> very good job. And I'm, I'm very pleased to work in an environment like this. Klaus Mazbor, trainer, is Sakia Žalgirio Jaunimo Komandos Pasirodimo Euroligos Trankos Turnire. Tai trainer is atsakė, kad žinoma rezultatus sekiau, pačių rungtynių dėl laikos tokos nebuvo galimiau pažiūrėti, tačiau galima pasidžiaugti pasirodymų, kaip Lietuvos ir Žalgirio jaunimo krepšinis yra vertinimas Europoje. Svarbu ne tiek pergalės, bet kad jaunimas tobulėtų ir labai jaučiasi, kad tie klubas tiek šalis gerai ruošia jaunosios talentus. Tough game, of course, for one, with one with the best team in this moment in Lithuania and uh, in the Euroleague, same, they're, they're very good. And we were 35 minutes in the game, but on the end, longer bench, it's more experience, and so on the end, the day one. So congrats to, to Jalgiris for the win. And I'm very proud of, of my players today, how they, how they show the, how they follow the game plan, offensively, defensively, how they execute, uh, how they, I think uh, from this game, they, we can say learn a lot because we play with high level team who, who, who compete in the, in the best European competition and we need to, to keep, keep, keep moving and to, to, to improve our game. Same. Coach, congratulations for a good game. Tai buvo sunkios rungtynės su geriausia šiuo metu Lietuvos komanda, kuri gerai atrodo ir Eurolygoje. 35 minutės buvome rungtynėse, bet žinoma, ilgesnis olelis ir patirtis varžovo stovykloje norėjame pergalę, todėl sveikinu Žalgirį. Tačiau esu patenkinta savo žaidėjo pasirodymu, tiek polimetė gynyboje. Iš šių rungtynių tikrai galime daug ko pasimokyti ir turime judėti kiekį. Coach, congratulations for a good game against Ritas. You played a very good first half, but stopped in the second. Uh, today you played, uh, as you said, 35 minutes, a good game. In your opinion, what did you lack against big clubs to play uh, in the highest level for 40 minutes? So, of course, uh, maybe a little bit shorter rotation and focus. And again, it's all, all, always about focus and, and some small things because these small details make a big difference in, in, in this kind of games. Because today we did, they scored 23 points from our turnovers, so that, that, that's a very big amount. So these, these small things where we can improve and uh, these, these things. Klausimas buvo, ko trūksta komandai, kad sužaist pilnas 40 minučių prieš pirmaunčius klubus, tai visų pirma, gal šiek tiek per trumpą rotaciją ir svarbiausia koncentracijos trūkumas ir mažas detalės. Pavyzdžiui, šiandien Žalgirį spelnė 23 taškus po mūsų klaidų. Could you won the rebounds against Žalgiris? What was the reason of that? So, okay, today, today we did good in, in boxing out, in, on closing the paint, everybody was aggressive on this, so I think today, yeah, we, we, con we control the, the rebounds. Klausimas buvo dėl laimėtos kovos dėl atšokų su kamuliu, tai šiandien tikrai gerai atsitvėrėme, buvome agresyvus pakrepščių ir laimėjome tą kovą.